Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today I have a Valentine's, wait, so for today's video I have a Valentine's Day look. Um, so I'm very excited. I already started with my brows just because for some reason I could never record myself doing them. Like it's, when I'm recording it's just a total mess. But guys, I did use the Alec Colors Brow, Browy Wowie Brow Pencil. And let me see. This is the first time tying it, and it works amazing. The color on this one is, it just says stark. And then I did go under um, with this brush just to clean under my brows, and then I did use the Morphe concealer to go for it. Now also, my skin's been very in the more, because I have like a combo skin type and it's been very dry lately so I went ahead and did use this pretty fitter glassy skin balm to kind of you know moisturize it before I get started now I am gonna go with this it primer this primer is oil free makeup gripping base so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this that way while I work on my eyes, you know, it's kind of sitting. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it. So, you know, while I let it sit. Now, again, with my Morphe concealer, I'm going to go ahead and start concealing my eyelids. Just to kind of give it a nice and clean base to work with. Kind of like a plain Canva. Mm, normally I would go with the lighter concealer. But this is the only concealer I have at the moment. And then I'm just going to... Make sure I try not to open my eyelids too much so that it doesn't create any creases. And this brush I'm using, I got it at, it was like a little, it was a little brush set that from Beauty Creations that I bought a few years ago. Yeah. It doesn't say the number or anything, but it was like this little makeup bag that came with like just a few little brushes and I've had it for a few years and it still works perfectly fine. I actually really, really like it. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this brush from Morphe times Jeffree Star and I'm going to use some translucent powder. This is in the banana shade from CoverGirl. It's translucent. And I'm just going to go like Slightly, I'm still trying to look down so that it doesn't create any creases. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like tap it in. So that my concealer stays. Oh, I think I went a little overhand right there. Okay. And now perfect. So there you go. Now it looks nice and clean to be able to go in there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and clean this brush so that I can use it when I need so. So now I'm going to be using this using, 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 using. <laughs> I don't know if I say that word right. So this Remember Me palette. Um, this palette is from Amor Us USA. It's a 32 pressed pigment palette and it's cruelty free. The colors on this palette are beautiful. So I'm mostly going to be working with these colors right over here. And actually to start off with, I'm going to go with this. Uh, Morphe times Jaclyn Hill and this is a JH34 brush and I'm going to go ahead and use in the pink which is right here and I'm going to go ahead and start like in the outer corners 
and work my way in. All right, so there you go. It looks now I'm gonna go with the shade Romance, which is right here. I'm gonna use the same brush and do the same thing. Kind of like start in the outer corner, just kind of a little bit underneath the other one. And I'm gonna go from outside in on the other eye. And now, I am going to be using a different brush. And I'm going to be using the Morphe E17. And I'm going to go with the shade Striken or Stricken, which is right here in this corner. I don't know if I'm saying it right. And now for this, I'm just going to like kind of like dab it in there. So just kind of like in the outer corner, I'm going to bring it in, kind of like more towards the eyelid. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same on this side. And again, it's going to be more towards the eyelid from the outer corner and towards the eyelid. And now, what I like to do is I like to use a, a brush with no product on. So for now, I'm going to be using the Morphe M573. And I'm just going to try to blend as much as I can on these corners. Okay, now I'm going to use this Morphe brush times Jeffree starts the JS10 and this is just kind of like a flat round brush and I'm, so I'm just gonna grab some of the concealer less is more and I'm gonna go ahead and cut like half of the crease I'm gonna go again with perky which is this color right in the corner it's such a baby it's like a very um, baby pink and I'm just going to use that actually I'm going to change the brush that didn't work for me and then this brush um, I don't remember where I got it but it's a little, I feel like it's going to work more for this yeah definitely so I'm just going to use, use this on the crease Okay, and now I'm going to go back with this brush to kind of like, and then back with the striking or striking color to kind of erase this little, where the concealer ends, kind of like blend it in, and I'm going to do the same with the other eye. Never blend. Go ahead and do, for eyeliner, I'm going to be using this. It's Il Mac Maquillage. I have no idea how to say it. Um, it's made in Germany. I don't know. I haven't heard of this brand. But I think my sister got it on one of the boxy charm boxes. And then she just let me have it. So I'm going to go and blend. Guys, you can never blend too much and go ahead and go with the eyeliner I'm just gonna do a tiny And I'm going to do the same with the other one. And 
for lashes, I'm going to use the Iconic 3D Profusion Lashes. I already used a pair. So while the eyelash, the glue is kind of getting tacky, I'm going to go with the Lily Lashes Mascara. And this is in the shade Black. And I really like this mascara because when you curl your lashes, it kind of like leaves them up. So just kind of... Next one. All right, so I feel like the lashes definitely put this look together, but now I'm going to go ahead and go with this Juvia's Place foundation, and this is a velvet matte foundation, and it's I Am Magic. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this, I think I went a little over board. And this is such a great coverage foundation because you do and I'm gonna go with my Morphe concealer and this is in the shade C235 and I'm just gonna put a little bit under my because this foundation already did a lot of its work like seems like I don't even need concealer but just to kind of brighten up my under eyes a little bit Now again with the translucent powder from CoverGirl, I'm going to be using this brush from Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill and it's the JH07. And then I don't like putting too much, I feel like it really it creases it when you put too much translucent powder under your eyes. So I'm just going to like do a little bit. I'm gonna go with this Fit Me powder. It's on the shade, it's 222, it's matte poreless. And I use this big fluffy brush, which is Morphe RO or R0. And normally this is what I do. Just to kind of like set the whole foundation. So I'm gonna use this cheerleader pink squad from benefit and I'm going to use this shade right here as a concealer I don't know if you guys can see it oh yeah you guys could definitely see it I use hula which is one of the most popular bronzers from benefit and I'm going to use this brush I don't I don't know what this brush is called but I've been using it for my bronzer lately and it works really good. It applies the bronzer and I'm obsessed with this bronzer. Beautiful. And voila. Now, okay, so my lips feel nice and moistured. I am going to be using this NYX Matte Lip Liner and this is whipped caviar so I'm gonna go ahead and look line so just like that and now I'm going to go with this beautiful shade of this is the shade pour I have no idea but this was a sample I got when I used to work at at Ulta and it's like a mauve color and it's from NARS and it's so beautiful and I've honestly I've had it for a few years but I am going to go with the Maybelline Lasting Fix and I am going to spray it all over my face Oh my god, it was open. And I'm not completely satisfied with the highlighter. Or the highlighter, the highlight. So I'm going to use this Laura Geller. I don't know if you guys can see it. Dripping in gold. And I'm going to use this shade right here, which is in shade 
sunbeams and now just to make it a little bit more intense because since I did use the since I used used this one it was kind of like fluffy all over the place I'm going to use this smaller brush to kind of just to kind of give it a little bit more like a little boost can you guys see the difference now bam and then I'm gonna do it on this one too I'm gonna put some on my nose I could never contour my nose. Maybe I should start doing it, huh? And I'm going to use a small little brush and I'm going to use the same shot, same shade and put it like right in the inner corners. Look at this brush, it's so beautiful. This brush is also from morphe and this was one of their christmas collections i believe for last year and my husband gifted it to me anyways um well that this is it guys what do you guys think all right guys hope you guys like this video um now i'm ready to go i'm on the media one <laughs> um all right guys well like i said hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye